hello students i welcome you all this is the fifth video of this topic today let me start with some of the examples from the exercise 3.2 first example let vector matrix a is equals to first row elements 2 4 second row elements 3 2 b is equals to 1 3 minus 2 5 and c is equals to minus 2 5 3 4 find each of the following we have to find a plus b a minus b and 3a minus c let me begin with a plus b therefore the matrix a and b are of same order therefore the corresponding elements of both the matrices are added two plus one is equals to three similarly we can add the first row second element of the first matrix plus corresponding elements of the second matrix four plus three is equals to Seven. Likewise, we can add the second row corresponding elements of both the matrices. Three plus of minus two is three minus two that gives one. Finally, two plus one, two plus five is equal to seven. Therefore, the matrix A plus B containing the elements three. Seven one seven, which is of order two cross two. Similarly, we can find what is matrix A minus B. We have to find matrix A minus B. Since A and B are once again of the same order, we can subtract the second matrix from the first. That is, the corresponding elements of both the matrices are subtracted. We get two minus one. Is equals to one. Similarly, four minus three is equals to one. And the corresponding elements of the second row, three minus of minus two, is equal to five. And the last element, two minus five, is equals to minus three. Therefore, the students here a minus b is equals to containing the elements one, one, five, minus three. This is also a matrix of order two cross two. Now, let me find out what is three a minus c. What is mean by three a? It is a scalar multiplication of a matrix. First, let me find out three. That is three is multiplied to the matrix A minus matrix C. Therefore, the matrix three A can be written as the each element of matrix A get multiplied by three. Then we get three my three two za six three four za twelve. Three three za nine, three two za six. That matrix minus the matrix C, the elements of the matrix C are minus two, five, three, and four. We will subtract the corresponding elements of both the matrices. Therefore, six minus of minus two that gives eight. Twelve. Minus of five that gives seven, and nine minus three gives six. Finally, six minus four it gives two. Therefore, three a minus c is equals to a matrix containing the elements eight, seven, six, two. Second example from the same exercise. Compute the following. You have to simplify. 
the following mattresses here the question number 2 sub question 3 we have to find the addition of two mattresses since both the mattresses of order 3 cross 3 therefore we are supposed to add the both the mattresses let me take the addition matrix minus 1 4 minus 6 in the first row second row elements are 8 5 16 and third row elements are 2 8 5 plus the another matrix of the same order containing the elements 12 7 6 second row elements are 8 0 5 and the last row elements are 3 2 4 as per the algebraic operation of matrices we can add the corresponding elements of both the matrix therefore minus 1 plus 12 that gives 11 similarly we can add the corresponding elements of the matrix therefore here 4 plus of 7 is equal to 11 minus 6 plus 6 that gives 0 therefore the first two elements are 11 11 and 0 Let me add the second row corresponding elements of both the matrices. Eight plus eight that gives sixteen. Five plus zero it gives five. Sixteen plus five is equals to twenty-one. Now the addition of last row of both the matrices. Two plus three that gives five. Eight plus two it gives ten. Finally, five plus four is equals to nine. Therefore, this matrix is containing the elements my eleven, eleven, zero in the first row. Second row elements are sixteen, five, twenty-one, and the last row elements are it is five, ten, and nine. we have the one more example the matrices of second order let me add the first matrix with a second matrix the first matrix containing the elements like cos square x sin square x second row elements are sin square x cos square x plus we have the addition of both the matrices in the second matrix the first row elements are sin square x cos square x and second row elements are cos square x sin square x since the addition is the algebraic operation between the two matrices we can add the corresponding elements of both the matrix therefore the addition cos square x plus sin square x by trigonometric functions of identity the sin square x plus cos square x or cos square x plus sin square x is always equals to 1 Similarly, the second element of the first matrix plus corresponding element of the second matrix, sin square x plus cos square x. Once again, by trigonometric functions of identity, it gives one. The last row addition, sin square x plus cos square x, that also gives one. And finally, cos square x plus sin square x, it gives one. Therefore, this matrix containing the like the first row elements are one one, and the second row elements are also one one. this matrix is just called as a square matrix it is not an identity matrix or unit matrix just it is called as a square matrix of order 2 cross 2 moving to the next example this is a problem from the exercise 3.2 first example the sub question it is 4 and 5 students let me find out the matrix ab first you have to find matrix ab since in case of matrix multiplication we know the rule the rule is like this the order of the first matrix is 2 cross 2 and the order of the second matrix is also 2 cross 2 if the number of columns in the first matrix are equal to the number of rows then ab exist and the ab will be of order 2 cross 2 and the multiplication is always row by column wise 
therefore in case of matrix multiplication our multiplication is not a normal multiplication the multiplication will be rho by column wise therefore let me start finding the product ab or ab product the first matrix a containing the elements 2 4 and second row elements are 3 2 second matrix containing the column elements 1 minus 2 and second column elements are 3 5 since the matrix multiplication is always row by column wise if the multiplication of the first row with the first column corresponding elements of the row and column will get multiplied and added therefore 2 into 1 that gives 2 ones are 2 plus 4 into minus 2 it gives 4 into minus 2 therefore their product will be 2 minus 8 that gives minus 6 similarly the same row with the second column 2 into 3 that gives 2 into 3 and 4 into 5 that is 4 5 are therefore 2 3 are 6 and 4 5 are 20 the sum of these two is equals to 26 similarly the second row will get multiplied to the first column of the second matrix and the last column of the same matrix therefore the multiplication again by row and column wise it is the corresponding elements of the row and column will multiplied and added therefore here the multiplication is like this 3 ones are 3 and 2 minus 2 is minus 2 for the sum of these two will be 3 ones are 3 minus 4 that gives minus 1 similarly the same row with the last for the last column is 5 let me multiply by 3 2 to the 3 5 therefore 3 3 is a 9 that it is gives 3 3 is a 9 and 2 5 is a 10 therefore 9 plus 10 it gives 19 therefore the matrix ab containing the elements like minus 6 26 and minus 1 19 students we have the one more example to find the product b into e let me find out what is b into e in this case the matrix b first then matrix a since both the matrices of the same order therefore a b and b a both exist but the elements of both the matrices will be different because we have seen the properties of multiplication the matrix multiplication is always non-commutative non-commutative that is a b is not equal to b a does that's why the a b and b a exist but both are not equal therefore always the matrix multiplication is non-commutative let me find out first the b a product if the first row will get multiplied to the first column therefore the elements in this row are it is 1 2 is a 2 and 3 3 is a 9 therefore the element will get 2 plus 9 which is equals to 11 similarly the same row we can multiply to the second column therefore we get 1 4 is a 4 and 3 2 is a 6 therefore 4 plus 6 that gives 10 finally we can multiply the second row with the first column and the second column therefore here the second row will get multiplied to the first column therefore the product goes like this minus 2 2 is a 4 and 5 3 is a 15 therefore we have the element like minus 4 15 that gives 11 Similarly, the same row will get multiplied to the last column of the same matrix minus 2 4 is a 8 and 3 2 is a sorry, 3 5 3 is a 15. Therefore, we get an element in the BA matrix as 11, 10 and 11, 2. Since both the matrices of the same order, but the corresponding elements of both the matrices are not equal, therefore in this case, AB is not equal to BA. The matrix multiplication is always non-commutative. Similarly, we can 
see the one more product of the matrix compute the indicated product we should have to find the product of given two matrices the first matrix is of order 3 cross 1 and second matrix is of order 1 cross 3 since both are equal that is number of columns in a first matrix are equal to number of rows in the second matrix therefore the product exists and the existing matrix will be of order 3 cross 3 therefore there are the total 9 elements in the product of the given matrix students let me find out the product of these two matrices in this case the multiplication is also always goes by row and column therefore the first row will get multiplied to the first column therefore here 1 2 is a 2 likewise 1 3 is a 3 same row with the third column therefore 1 4 is a 4 therefore we get the elements like 2 3 4 in the first row similarly from the first matrix we can multiply the second row with the first column second column and third column therefore what 2 2 is a 4 2 3 is a 6 and 2 4 is a 8 therefore in the second row elements are 4 6 8 likewise the last element of the same matrix will get multiplied to the every element of the second element uh, second uh, matrix with the last column therefore 3 2 is a 6 3 3 is a 9 and 3 4 is a 12 therefore the second last row elements are like elements 6 9 and 12 therefore this product ab is also of order 3 cross 3 and the elements in the first row are 2 3 4 second row elements are 4 6 8 last row elements are 6 9 12 students you can try the third example or you can take as an assignment the result of this matrix is already given to you you can try at home compute the indicated product in this case i have taken one big example in this case both the matrices in the first examples of order 3 cross 3 therefore the existing matrix is also of the same order therefore the first matrix is of order 3 cross 3 second matrix is also of order 3 cross 3 and in this case also the columns in the first matrix are equal to the number of rows in the second matrix therefore product exists and the existing product will be of order again 3 cross 3 therefore the new matrix will be of order 3 cross 3 students let me take the simplification of the product of the matrices let me begin with the matrix multiplication the first row get multiplied to the corresponding elements of the first column therefore we will get 2 ones are 2 plus 3 zeros are 0 and plus 4 3 is a 12 therefore 2 ones are 2 3 zeros are 0 plus 4 3 is a 12 that gives an element 2 plus 0 plus 12 we can write it as 14 similarly the same row get multiplied with the second column In the same row we can multiply with the second column 2 minus 3 is a 3 2 is a and 4 zeros a we will get 2 minus 3 is a 3 2 is a and 4 zeros a we will get an element like minus 6 plus 6 and 0 therefore the sum of these two elements will be equals to 0 similarly the same row we can multiply with the last column that is containing the elements 5 4 5 therefore here 2 5 is a 10 plus 3 4 is a 12 plus 4 5 is a 20 therefore we will get 2 5 is a 10 3 4 is a 12 4 5 is a 20 therefore the addition of these elements gives an number 42 10 plus 12 plus 20 is equals to 42 we have multiplied the first row with first column second column and third column of the second matrix we got the first row elements as 14 0 and 42 similarly we can multiply the second row with each element of the first column second column as well as the third column we get an elements like 3 ones are 3 4 zero are 0 5 three is a 15 3 minus 3 is a 4 plus 4 2 is a and plus 5 zero is a and the same row with the last column 3 5 is a 15 4 4 is a 16 5 5 is a 25 therefore the elements in the second row are 3 plus 0 plus 15 that gives 18 and next row elements are 
that is it gives minus 1 and the last element of the second row is it is 25 and 56 likewise we can multiply the last row with the first column second column and third column element therefore we get the elements like 4 ones are 5 ones are uh, then 6 threes are therefore we will get 4 ones are 4 5 zeros are 0 6 threes are 18 and also we can multiply the same row with the second column 4 minus 3 is a 5 2 is a 6 0 is a that is 4 minus 3 is a 5 2 is a 6 0 is a and same row we can multiply with the last column elements 4 5 is a 20 5 4 is a 20 and that is 6 5 is a 30 therefore 4 5 is a 20 5 4 is a 20 6 5 is a 30 that gives it is 70 therefore the last two elements are containing the elements 22 minus 2 and 70 since the both matrices of the same order therefore the new existing matrix is also of order 3 cross 3 my dear students you can take this example as an assignment here the fourth question from the same exercise the matrix first matrix is of order 3 cross 2 and second matrix is of order 2 cross 3 therefore the columns and rows in the first and second matrix are equal therefore the product exists and the new matrix will be of order 3 cross 3 the product is already done over here you can practice this problem at home the answer is also given to you can cross verify your result Before I conclude my lecture, my dear students, I would like to suggest you to practice these solved examples so that you will be perfect in getting the accuracy. I thank for watching this video. For any queries, please contact the given number. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.